Before we get into this video, I just want to say if I start looking like a sweaty mess and you hear the AC going, just ignore it. It's like really hot today. It's like 35 degrees out and I am like dying of heat, especially in this room. The sun really comes down and beams on this room. So it gets really, really hot and you know, I might just start dying of heat. So I have the AC going, hoping to get some air into this room while I film. And I just hope that I just don't turn into a sweaty puddle of mess by the end of this video. If I do, just ignore it. Also, before we get to this video, I wanted to say a little apology because I have not posted in the past month and a bit. I had to take a little impromptu break. I will be explaining why in the next couple weeks, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, let's get into the video. I want to share with you guys some favorites, the things that I've been loving recently, some fitness stuff, some kind of like, I don't know, everyday stuff, some kind of, not skincare, but like body care stuff, I guess. Anyways, you guys will see. I'm gonna share with you guys all the things that I have been loving recently. So, let's get into it. So, we're gonna start with the more health, fitness-y kind of stuff. The stuff that I've been liking, new stuff that I've added to the gym, that kind of stuff. So the first thing is these guys here. I updated my elastic bands. I had some of the like rubbery ones before, and so we finally, updated to these guys. We actually just got these from Target. They're like a skills, I don't know, they're just like a generic brand. These are brands that you can find literally probably on Amazon, like they're basic. Like I didn't go after someone's like booty band brand or anything like that. Like I find sometimes they're a little overdone, not gonna lie, maybe that's a little controversial to say, but I don't know. In, at the end of the day, I find these knitted ones, they're great. They don't fold too much and they're pretty, like they have really good resistance and I don't know, I like them better than the kind of rubbery ones that I had. So we got a light, a medium, and a hard one, I guess is that what it's called? So we had the light, the medium, and the heavy. That's what it's called, obviously. I just wanted to update them. This is just great for me. I mean, I don't do like booty band workouts or anything like that. I really just do that to help activate my glutes when I'm gonna do like a squat day or like a heavy leg day. I wanna use these to activate my glutes and get them going kind of thing, get my legs all warmed up. So yeah, I just uh, invested in like a cheap, not too expensive pair, well, not pair, set of bands, I guess. Man, I have not filmed in a while and I feel like I just can't talk properly anymore. Next is something that I shared in my Airy Activewear haul. And this is like one of the only things that I ended up keeping from that. And it is these green shorts. First of all, the color, is like amazing first of all like i love it i think that this like hunter green forest green color is like literally my favorite i love this color and these shorts are really nice they have some nice paneling on the side if you guys can see but i just find them super comfortable they're actually a like they don't have a seam in the front which is the first time i've ever bought something without a seam in the front i know crazy i'm splurging but i really like it i find them comfortable and they just don't roll up as often as like my Fila ones or like my Nike Pro ones. My Nike Pro ones roll up all the time. And I'm not like a big fan of shorts, especially wearing them in the gym just cause I get that chub rub. And these are a little short. They do hit pretty well like that I don't get like too much chub rub, but I could still get chub rub if I decide to do like a running workout in them. But if I just do like a typical not cardio day where I'm running and there's a lot of chub rub going on, I love these. I find them comfortable and yeah, they just don't roll up as much as my like other shorts that I have. So your girl is a ride or die kind of vegan protein kind of gal. Like I've always gone for vegan protein. It's always been the best one that I have tried so far because I've tried a couple other brands of plant protein and they're kind of disgusting. Like plant protein, is gross. Like they just can't make it good. And Viga is good, but it can be like not as smooth as you want it to be in a protein. So I found this company a while ago and I have mentioned it in a couple of videos and I have been obsessed with them and it is Outcast Nutrition. I absolutely love their protein. They have so many different flavors, first of all. They have like lemon ring, they have mint chocolate chip, which I absolutely love. As you guys can see, we're like down to the bottom, which I'm kind of sad about, but we will definitely have to make a new order. They also have lemon ring, which tastes like lemon ring. It is so, so delicious. And they have tons of other stuff. They have creatine, like tons of like uh, fruit and like 
vegetable powders and things like that, like reds and greens and things. They have all that jazz. But so far, I have only stuck to their proteins. And their protein, oh my gosh, like you can just put it in a shaker bottle, shake it up with some milk, even some water too, but I prefer it with like some plant milk, definitely oat milk. Shake it up and then have it like that and it is so smooth. Like if I did that with vegan protein, it would be chunky. Whereas this, I'll have to do that. I shake it up and it's smooth already. Like it blends really, really well, which I really, really like. But yeah, they're kind of twist on I guess the protein is that they take the ugly food that the grocery stores don't want and end up using that because they are a plant-based company. So they use that plant protein that they, or the plants that they use for protein or their just their greens or whatever. They take the ugly ones from the, that the stores don't want and then they grind it up and put it into these protein things, I guess. I really hope that makes sense. That was a really bad explanation. But they're trying to do something that's like a little more sustainable. They're just taking the stuff that isn't being used and would probably go to a landfill and using that in their stuff because it's still good stuff, but it's not pretty that you don't want to buy in the grocery store. Like you don't want to buy ugly fruit. That's why all the fruit and vegetables at the grocery store are nice. So they just take the ugly fruit that nobody would want and then they just put it in their proteins. Yeah, I'm like not explaining that very well, but you guys get the point. I really like this protein. They ship in Canada to the US, which I think is great. So if you're interested in trying a new plant protein, check them out. They have pretty tasty flavors. So we're moving out of like the fitnessy stuff and moving into like the regular Joe kind of stuff. And I've talked about these before, but I have not had them in like over a year because I can only get these in the States. These are the Justin's dark chocolate peanut butter cups. I love dark chocolate, I love peanut butter cups, so I love this. Um, and so with Corona, um, the borders were closed, could not get them in the States. David's finally started traveling again. And I was like, David, you gotta bring these home for me. I need them so badly. And so he brought me home a couple packages. I haven't ripped open this one yet, but I will soon because they're so tasty and I go through them like crazy and I absolutely love them. And I will always say that. I know I've talked about that before. I'm pretty sure there's another favorites video that I have where I've talked about how much I love these, but I just love Justin's peanut butter cups. They're so, so tasty. Next, I'm not really sure what category I'm gonna put this in, but it's just kind of random stuff now. Um, it's this claw clip. Okay, I know that it's such a trend now, and a lot of people who are like born in like the 90s or even earlier know about the claw clip, and they're like ridiculous that this is a trend, and I thought so too. I was like, oh my God, I used to wear my hair like that when I was like younger, and Honestly, I hate that I stopped wearing my hair like that because this is just so convenient and I'm so sad that I stopped wearing my hair like that. I think it just became like untrendy and now that it's trendy again, I'm like, man, I have to wear my hair in this like every single day. Like even at home, instead of having it in like a tight bun or a tight ponytail because most of the time my hair is always up, it's just always nice to have this instead so it's not like pulling on my hair really hard because sometimes when I have it in a bun or something, I find it hurts my hair sometimes. So this is really just nice to have to just kind of twist it up and put it up. I actually, you know what? I'm gonna put my hair up now because I'm dying of heat and you know what? I'm just gonna claw it up because I think it gets the hair out of the way. I look so funny with this. Okay, wait, I don't know if I can make this look cute. I look like a little milk, oh my. <laughs> I look like a little milkmaid. Does this look kind of trendy, kind of cute? Okay, I think it looks cute um, right now. I usually just wear it up at home so I don't really care what I look like or not on the video. But got my claw clip in, just clip it up and especially when it's hot, getting the hair out of your face feels so good. Um, Blondie. Okay, we just have um, Blondie down in the corner here just playing with her tail. So the next favorite of mine is Native Deodorant. And I have been loving this deodorant. Unfortunately, I can only get the plastic ones in Canada, but since Dave has been traveling in the States, he got me the cardboard one. I love Native Deodorant. I've been trying to find a good natural deodorant. And so far the native one has been working for me. I know that they just came out with a like a sensitive one because I know that a lot of like natural deodorants have like um, baking soda in it and it does irritate a lot of people. So if you do get irritated, just try and find a more sensitive one because 
that might be why because the baking soda can sometimes irritate people so I got this one in cucumber and mint and I got it in cardboard so we can only get the plastic ones here in Canada so far whereas in the states at Target they sell it in cardboard and I try and find ways to reduce my plastic as much as I can because there's just an overconsumption of plastic. I'm not some eco-minimalist at all, but I just try and find some ways to reducing my plastic and yeah, I just got it in this cardboard tube and it holds up pretty good. I thought it was gonna be like kind of gross and sticky and just, yeah, no, it holds up really good, which I'm really, really happy about. So yeah, native deodorant, I've been loving it. It's been making my pits smell good. Like I'm not having an issue because a lot of like natural deodorants, especially with working out, you end up smelling when you're working out and you're like, oh, that's gross. Not this one. This one's been holding up pretty good, which I'm really happy about. And I've been really liking. And I thought I would just obviously share it with you guys. So the next product is this product from Lush and it is the Marilyn Hair Treatment. And I have been loving this. This is a hair treatment for people with blonde hair that it's like similar to like a blue shampoo but well it just helps your hair from not going brassy like a lot of blondes especially if you dye your hair very often your hair can turn like a very brassy tone so you kind of want to kind of avoid that most of the time people use blue shampoo but i wanted to try this out because i do buy like a lot of lush products i really like their products i use a lot of their shampoo bars and i've been loving this so much i really think that it just helps keep my hair nice and healthy because when you're dyeing it I mean, it can really, really affect your hair, and I know I need to get my hair done. My roots are really coming in, um, but hopefully that will be done soon. Anyways, that's besides the point. I've been loving this for using this for my blonde hair so that it just doesn't go brassy and kind of keeps my hair a little more healthier and a little bit softer. So it's just like a nice hair treatment for when you're trying to fix your blonde and not make it go brassy too much. So the next item, I have been trying to find for so long now. And it has been impossible to find because they have been sold out literally everywhere in Canada especially. And then Dave was in the States and he was walking around and he's like, oh my God, look Nicole, it's the shoes that you wanted. And I was like, no freaking way. I was like, dude, you gotta buy those. You gotta buy them for me. And look what I got. <laughs> now you're probably looking at me like, dude, it's a pair of Converse. Uh, yeah, it's a pair of platform Converse. I've been looking for platform converse for like ever and if you know me personally you know that I have like six pairs of converse and I have converse from when I was like a 14 year old girl that's how long my converse have last I mean mind you they still have holes in them but they've lasted from when I was 14 and I'm 28 now that's like 14 years oh my god that's been a long time um anyways I am just a huge Converse fan. I love their shoes. I wear them all the time. I have tons of pairs, which is ridiculous, and I just added more to my collection. I added in these platform ones, and I actually love them so much. I was a little worried that I wouldn't like them, but your girl is obsessed. I love these platform shoes. I love that they're in style. I'm trying out the white. Um, they're a little, they're getting a little dirty already. I've worn them a couple times, trying to keep them as clean as possible, but it's a little hard to keep white shoes white, not gonna lie, but I love these and I had to share them with you guys. I think David got them at Payless Shoes. No, he didn't get them there. Ah, uh, I don't know the place that he got them and I probably won't be able to link them down below because I haven't, like, I don't know. Ah! I probably won't be able to link these down below because I actually have no idea where David got them and he didn't get them on a website or anything like that. So unfortunately, I'll try and write in the description down below where he got them, but I haven't been able to find them in Canada. It's been impossible to find them here. And he found them in the States when he was there and I was like, you need to buy these. So he bought them and now I have platform commerce. I just love them so much and I get to add them to my collection. <laughs> Yes, I love them. Anyways, <laughs> I know I'm obsessing over a pair of shoes, but I usually, like, I'm not a big shoe person. I don't go crazy over shoes, except for Converse. I always love Converse, and they always have so many cool styles. <laughs> I just love them. So, got myself a pair of high top Converse, and I'm gonna stop talking about them now, because I've talked about Converse for way too long. Anyways, those are all the items that I have been loving. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you have any questions, let me know down below. And yes, thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to be unstoppable. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Stop.
summer days burn me out, love just brings me down Cold inside like when she leaves, I slowly leave the ground Hey, you come back, I wanna give you a chance Love me like you used to, so we can learn again The skin is getting brown, baby